What's going on everyone? It's Regarder here and today I just want to do a quick unboxing and inspection of the high speed PC tech station I won from the Silent Commando giveaway. And the reason why I'm doing an inspection is because you can see here got some damage. So I hope that everything is okay, but I'm sure it will be. Usually pack these pretty good. Oh yeah, there's all the packing peanut. So that's a good sign. All right, we have our invoice here. Get that out of the way. Oh yeah, there's like there plenty of room. Shouldn't have any problem with damage. And there we go. High speed PC tech station. Well, I removed everything from the box and I did miss this at first. This is one of their uh, power switches and it has the LEDs on it too and it mounts to a PCI slot which is very nice. Thank them for that. Oh, it's the uh, ATX power bracket. Power reset switches with power hard drive LEDs on an add-on card bracket. So that's very nice. And while they're not sleeved, definitely not going to argue with that. Because it does look nice, you know, just with the black and green and the black and red, it's not all multicolored like some of the front panel connectors are. So that's nice. And we'll just bundle all these up and I'll tie them down to some part of the tech station. So let's open this up. And this actually has a good amount of weight to it. Let's cut this here. Alright, and it's packed in yet more protective stuff as you can see here. That's very nice. So yeah, it doesn't look like we uh, suffered any damage at all, which is good. Let's just get this out of the way. included 120 millimeter fan which gets mounted on the top deck of the tech station. These are your rails for the hard drive. I believe that is it. Yes, that is it. So I commend them for doing an excellent job of packaging this, I will say that. This is your bracket that goes on top where your video cards and other expansion cards would go. You can tell I've seen a few videos on this, so I'm kind of familiar with it. And this is just the ATX control kit. Oh no, they include two of those? Oh, these are the short ones. Okay, yeah, these just have the push buttons on them, which I could probably run that, but since I did get the ATX bracket, these are very nice pieces here. And they have your holes pre-drilled for everything to go in. And I decided to go with the black. Because I figure I could later on, if I decide to paint it whatever custom color I want, but I figure black will go with everything. So it's very nice. You your top piece. And this is your bottom piece here. And it tells you where everything goes, which is nice of them. And they include this neoprene pad here to put on the bottom. I'm not sure if they have some adhesive or something like that that'll go on there to hold that, but yeah, that, that's that piece. Now we can open this up, and then here's all your, your rails, not rails, but your uh, posts for mounting tech station. And like I said, these are all made from really durable, I want to say like ABS plastic, so they can easily be sanded and painted. Here's a 120mm fan grill. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what the specifications are on that fan, but I'll definitely check them out and let you guys know if anybody's interested. And we have our short switches and LEDs here. Here is the motherboard standoff kit. They have little rubber isolators that your motherboard sits on, so that's very nice. And then here's all your brackets, 
plastic pieces for the feet, um, screws, little uh, nylon standoffs or washers, some uh, standard metal washers. That's for uh, mounting everything up. And then they have a little piece here about missing parts, questions, or problems. Uh, let's see what they got here. Oh, it just gives the email address, so if you have any problems, which hopefully I shouldn't. Supports micro ITX, micro ATX, and standard ATX motherboards. And that's kind of a little picture of what it looks like there. And it basically will mount, I think, two hard drives on the bottom side. And that's what you have to squeeze in here. Or actually, it might be this piece you do it to. And uh, basically, yeah, it holds the, you slide the drives in. And that's why you have this fan, because it'll actually mount like this, blowing over your hard drives and your motherboard. So that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, I'm going to assemble this, let you guys know how it goes. I might make a video of the process. I might not, depending on how time goes. But you guys will definitely see this tech station together. And I need to take everything out of my half 912 and push it over to here, which it, it's really not going to be too bad, mainly for the fact that I have a modular power supply now, so I only need the cables. I won't. It won't be like the 750TX I used to have by Corsair. That no matter what I did with it, I always had all those cables. And the old tech station I was running, I, I did have them, you know, kind of cable managed a bit, but they were mostly just zip tied together and you know stuck to the side. So this is definitely going to be a lot cleaner build. And I got some wire tie bases that I'll put in, you know, key locations to help route some wires around. So I want this to, you know, be an open air tech bench. It's easy to work on, but I still want it to look nice. So there you guys go. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you want to see, let me know. I'll be sure to make a video of it. So I'll talk to you guys later. You all have a great day. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you soon.